Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Toontown Lego Master today, bringing you guys another video after uh, bringing you guys that how to install Windows 10 on your Mac. I'm going to be showing you how to play Xbox One on your Mac. Okay, now, I'm not going to be doing it on the Mac as you kind of know, uh, probably from the title or from what I just said right now. What we're going to do is we're actually going to boot up into our Windows 10, and if you guys don't know how to put Windows 10 on your MacBook or any Mac in general, anything from today or from a long time ago like from 2009 any any computer any macbook with a dual core processor you basically can run uh xbox one on your computer so let's go into that and we'll meet you on the window side so yeah i'm a boss okay so we're on the windows 10 side now the only thing that you need for this uh, to work is you literally just need the Xbox One controller and we're going to turn it on right now. And I, I'm in my bedroom so it's, I think it's going to turn on. Hopefully it's like the, yeah it's, right. let's wait for it to load. So I mean I guess if it doesn't load at first go to your Xbox and then walk to your bedroom. Okay, it's working actually, nice. Yeah, so it is like the PS3 you can reach from really far away. Okay, so if you didn't know, with Windows 10 you actually can stream to your Xbox One, and since we're on the Mac slash Windows 10 computer, all we're going to do is click on this spot on the part. Uh, you click Xbox here and you sign into your Xbox, and then you just, of course, you click this to sign in. It's going to load the application. I honestly think this is pretty amazing. Uh, that they're that they're able to do this with their own operating system to just impl implicate it into their OS to make Xbox and Windows 10 really together instead of how it was last gen where I mean it kind of was together with Windows but this this is I mean would it being able to stream to your Xbox and being able to play those like buying Gears of War on your Xbox and be able to play it on your PC they're really stepping forward I mean hopefully we see some more crazy stuff and um, by the way, if you do buy an Xbox and you don't have a controller, I might make a video on this too. Um, you don't have a controller, you know, you bought just the console and you want to access it. Well, basically, all you do is um, you just uh, do what we're doing right now and you literally can access the Xbox um, through remote play with any controller. I'll make a video on that in the future. Because I literally was using like a PS3 controller to play Xbox One. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. But yeah, that's for another video. It's pretty easy. I just need to like figure out how to do it again. And uh, for some reason, it's not appearing here. So I'm going to come back to this and I'll see you. Okay, so it just turns out that my um, Xbox wasn't connected to the internet. So again, before you do this, just make sure that your Xbox One is connected to the internet. And when it comes up on here, uh, just hit connect. So remember, you just click this this thing right here and it's connected. So basically what we do is, I guess we hit, so we have the controller here. Uh, you know, we test stream. Let's test the stream, see if it's strong enough. Probably should be. That's a pretty weak internet and we're still working at my other place, so... Let's see. Okay, I'll just come back while I stop. Okay, guys, and that's it. Um, so the test stream didn't work. It said I didn't have any connection. So if it says that, just go back and hit stream because Microsoft's lying. <laughs> so basically, we can pretty much play anything from our computer, and it looks really good, and it streams pretty well. Doesn't look like there's about a half second, maybe one second lag at the most. But that's not that bad, considering we're using like a pretty old computer. So we're going to play Battlefield 1. And I'll record some gameplay to see how well it is. Uh, see if we can actually play. And of course, uh, let's see, is there like a stream quality? Oh, let me see. change it. You can change the quality. So you can put it to very high. So you have, of course, like if you have really good internet, go very high. Uh, if you want to get like the best performance, go low. Uh, I might keep it at medium, but if it doesn't really perform well, I'll drop down to low. But since we're at medium, that's, that's pretty cool. 
I mean, I'm gonna probably get some better internet pretty soon. This is so awesome. I mean, honestly, this is like the best feature on Windows 10. Honestly, if you have Xbox One, that is just awesome. Especially like right now, my family's using the computer. Oh, we lost connection. Yeah, my connection sucks, so it's probably why it's disconnecting. So we'll just do it again. So again, just hit stream. And I'll be back when there's gameplay. Okay, and for the sake of the video, um, to make sure that you get audio coming out of your computer, because for some reason it wasn't working, I guess I had like auto, auto optical on, so just make sure you turn off and then just hit stereo uncompressed. And as you can hear, it works. So the audio works, and we'll go into Battlefield. And boom, baby, it's working! Yeah, yeah! So leave a like below if you enjoyed, uh, being able to play Xbox One on your MacBook, white, really old computer, or just any MacBook, any computer, Mac Pro, whatever you have, iPad, I don't know. I mean, I bet you could probably do this on an iPad someday, so I'll probably be the first one to make a video on that, I guess, but yeah, this is so awesome. And again, I'll, I'll be showing some gameplay at the end, so remember, please comment, rate, and subscribe. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Be expecting more videos like this in the future where I just, you know, I love making tutorials. They're, they're really great. And they get a lot of views too, so. Bye. Okay, so I had to like drop it to low because it just wasn't really connecting right. I guess since we're playing online and we're streaming at the same time. But as you can see, it works. And if I had a really good Mac or not, not good Mac. Well, yeah, if I had a really good Mac on top of really good internet, or if I just had really good internet, <clears throat> it would be performing very well. So I guess when I get really good internet, I'll, I'll make an update or follow-up video. But other than that, it works, you know? It's crazy. Everything responds. I'm hitting A right now, and it's going. So let's just do it again. I can't really shoot or anything because I'm holding the job. controller and the phone. But as you can see, it's 100% playable. And if I just had like 50 megabits, 100 megabits of download speed and such, I would be able to do everything. So yeah, everything works. Uh, kind of laggy because my connection sucks. And that's mainly it. But like if you're playing in the same room as your Xbox One, and let's say you don't even have a television, this is this would come in handy, you know? So, yeah. Again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. And I just want to thank all you guys out there for subscribing and watching my videos today. I'm rebooting my channel, as you guys all know. And I just want to thank everyone that's supporting the channel now and such. And hope you guys enjoyed your day. And uh, please continue to support me. Thanks. Bye.